Yo, 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 how's it going, everyone? Welcome to episode 18 of Sir Brent Brant and the Great Feast for All. Uh, I guess we're gonna be eating a lot. Um, which, I mean, Brent, like, you'll be able to eat the feast in, like, five seconds, right? <laughs> Since you eat, like, super quickly anyways? <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know how much I can eat, like, I can eat, I still eat fast, I just don't think I eat a lot fast. Like, the amount. I can't eat a, eat a lot, so I'll eat this small amount really quick, but I will not. You couldn't do, like, an entire feast, like, I can't, super quickly? I can't eat a whole lumberjack from Save On Foods anymore in, in 20 minutes. Oh. Or, or a, a large, two, or a large and a half pizza. I don't think I could do that anymore. A large and a half? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of pizza. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Speaking of pizza, though, doesn't the... Wait, can you see my mouse? I forgot. Is that no. a thing you can see? No? Okay, that sucks. Anyways, the, the green... Or, like, not the green. The wavy things that are coming off of, like, the railing and the... It's supposed to be, like, vines, I guess, with flowers oh, on yeah. them. Uh, I really thought it was spaghetti and meatballs. Last time I said it was pot. <laughs> oh, right, yes. Oh, oh, yeah, it was on the dang kush, right. Right. Oh, yeah, speaking of last time, uh, we killed someone. Uh, that was fun. It was one of those situations where if we don't deal with it, she'll probably come back in the story and then screw us up. So we just were like, eh, you're a witch. I mean... We played it safe. Yeah, I mean, you know... I'd rather, like, sure, we're probably going to get cursed by the witch and everything, but, like, <laughs> eh, you know, cur curses schmerces is what I say. I, I find it funny. It's like, we played it safe. We just murdered her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we played it safe by murdering an all-powerful being. Um, <laughs> anyway, Or it became trouble. Yeah, right? Yeah, see, we're thinking ahead. You know, we're thinking into the future, I guess, <laughs> maybe. Anyway. The capital is preparing for a great celebration, the coming of age of Jerion Tempest, heir to the throne. The streets are being cleaned, the lowborn merchants are gone from the squares, and flags and flower garlands have, have appeared on the buildings. By the Emperor's decree, everyone will celebrate for the next three days. That's right, we are if you partying. you going to jail. Or what? If you don't, if you don't party... You go to jail. Oh, you go to jail? <laughs> yeah. Straight to jail. Yeah, like, you can sleep for maybe half an hour, but you have to get back up and you have to start partying. Like, 100%. Like, this is the reason there's so much dank kush on everything, you know? Eterna is a buzz. A festive pro procession? Procession. Pro is that a word? Procession, yeah. That's a weird word. <laughs> a I, I only ever... I only ever uh, associate it with like, like uh, something proceeding along, like a marching band. Oh, okay, a procession. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing I ever associate it with. I don't uh, know if it, it can be out, uh, applied to something else. I, I've just, I don't think I've ever heard that word before. So I, well, I saw process, and I'm like a festive process, and then it's like shun. I'm like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, a, uh, a festive procession starts on the streets. Students from the college and cadets from the military academy will be there to show their gratitude to the Emperor's family for entrusting them with the power they wield. Ribbons and flags flutter in the wind, the streets are scrubbed clean, and the scent of marijuana fills the air. <laughs> it's flowers, in quotes. <laughs> Sorry, the, the audio was so loud I did not hear yeah, what you said. <laughs> it's, it's just flowers, in quotation marks. <laughs> yeah, the flowers. Yeah, wink, wink. <laughs> Uh, you march side by side with Tomas, carrying the banner of your province. Your friend's brown hair is unusually well combed today. He waves to every girl you see on the streets as you pass by. They giggle shyly, and some of them wave back. Ooh. Did you see that pal? I don't know why I'm talking like this, but this is now the accent. Uh, look at that <laughs> beauty! She just smiled at me. Now this is what I call living. I just love parades! Because he's all like all dressed up and now he's talking Italian. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he's speaking the fancy language. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Tempest royal family observes the slowly approaching parade from the balcony of the Imperial Palace. They are joined by the Empire's highest dignitaries and provincial overseers. 
And maybe that's why you saw uh, spaghetti and meatballs in those uh, flowers. <laughs> Honestly, I think that was, you know, I think that was it. I think that was it. I, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, all right, we're doing that accent today. Why not? <laughs> you see Emperor Uther, uh, Uther the second with your own eyes. There, high above, yet so close. Uther reminds me of um, star, one of the Star Ocean uh, characters for some reason. I, I have no idea why. I don't know which Star Ocean, but for whatever reason, I think Star Ocean when I heard Uther. I don't know anything about Star Ocean, so... <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> the columns come to a halt at the balcony and salute the Emperor with the mottos of the college and the academy. You join the other college students in crying, Learning is strength, learning is will. The Emperor raises his hand in a gesture of benevolent greeting. His voice echoes across the square. Ooh, Brent, you want to be this this bad boy right here? I accept your gratitude, my loyal subjects. Take pride as you wield your knowledge and valor in service of the Empire. All who are worthy will be ennobled by the mantle, by my grace. The future nobles around you cheer the Emperor's words, but their jubilation gives way to murmurs of discontent when Archduke Monroe, the new Great Chancellor of the Empire, steps onto the balcony. Everyone here remembers all too well how the Archduke attempted to shut down the college by force. Still, the Archduke is the de facto leader of the Arknian gentry. He is a force to be reckoned with, even for the Emperor. And so, he is the Great Chancellor now. Hail your Emperor, common folk! Be forever obedient and grateful for the good graces you deserve, not deserve by birth. <laughs> The Archduke does not even bother to hide his contempt for the gathering below. Boo! It's by Woman. the it's what? Whoa! It literally is Wonder Woman. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that was a plot twist. <laughs> uh, booed by the crowd, he rejoins the dignitaries in the back row. You notice one of them, a slender, elegant figure under an emerald banner with a black snake. It's Slytherin. She's from uh, Slytherin. <laughs> you know, from from the Harry Potter, yeah. She is Octavia Milacunis, daughter to the Archduke of Magra. Uh, from Harry Potter news? Harry Potter news, yeah. That's exactly it. Now that's a new, you know this Octavia too, eh? Our Archduke Milacunis sent his daughter in his stead. That's a sign of disrespect for the Emperor if I ever seen one. I, I don't know why I'm doing this again. Like, every time I have to do, like, a... <laughs> it's hard to see, but I'm putting my... A wrist flick with It's fingers. the wrist flick. I don't know. It just it gets me into character <laughs> a little bit. Uh, is he so enraged because he's no longer the overseer of Magra? I mean, you can imagine his surprise. But that's never happened before. But then everyone grows silent. A young, slender Arknian with a shy smile comes forth. There are whispers in the crowd. That's Prince Jared, heir to the throne! Ward of Cornelius, promise and hope of the common estate. That's right, he's the heir to the throne, not the heir to the throne. No, he's literally a tear. <laughs> he looks like a hobbit. <laughs> he does. He 100% looks like a hobbit. I can see that. <laughs> to the left of Jerry and uh, uh, is his younger brother Flavius. That's a name. <laughs> he, he is baffled at the sight of the parade below, too young to process what he is seeing and also how hilarious his name is. Uh, Brent, you want to be this guy? May the twins be kind to you, my future subjects. I promise to repay you in kind and help you prosper in the loyal services to the Empire. Exalted by these words, the future nobles roar as one. All hail Prince Jerrion! Another figure steps into view next to the air. He is an Arknian, elegantly dressed, and his mantle bears the Tempest colors. He raises his arms, about to make a speech. <laughs> uh, while you were saying all hail Prince Jerrion, I was very, very um, tempted to uh, say, the say, say it at the same time, but say geriatric. 
geriatric. <laughs> it's Prince geriatric. <laughs> and then it's like, who the fuck said that? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Oh my god. Hey, and look, that's a guy who's Tempest, the Emperor's brother, and the new overseer of Magra, by the by. It seems the Arcnean elders want him as far as the throne as from the throne as possible, just like his brother Cornelius. Those two have been promising too many freedoms to commoners like you and me. Uh, I think that that's me? me. No, I think that's me. <laughs> Long live <laughs> Prince Jerry and students of the college cadets of the academy. Time and again, you have proven yourselves to the emperor by word and deed. Today is a day of great celebration. And in honor of Prince Jerry, you must ask the emperor to guarantee forever the right of distinguished common folk to be ennobled by the mantle. So ask now. The cadets and students freeze in hesitation. They exchange glances, unsure whether to follow the words of the Emperor's own brother. On the balcony high above, Prince Jerrion also remains still, awaiting a reaction from the crowd. Archduke Monrogue briskly steps into view once more. He takes several seconds to observe the crowd before he speaks. Imperial subjects. Wait, is this the same character we just did? I don't think I so. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Pizza's here. Well, guess what? I'll keep reading. <laughs> Imperial <laughs> subjects. What the Emperor's brother wishes to say is that you must always remember that you owe your status to the Tempest Dynasty. The Emperor accepts your gratitude and sends you off with his blessing. You may leave now. But the columns stay where you, they are. That's not what the guy's Tempest said. Let the Emperor hear us. The law, we ask for the law. Commotion and murmurs spread over the crowd as some of the future nobles refuse to follow the Archduke's orders. There are shouts heard here and there. The law, we ask for the law. The academy officers and teachers of the college urge them to fall in line and resume, in the, par er, resume the parade, but tension is rising. The crowd slowly grows in raged and unruly you have to decide where you stand okay so it is a parade yeah but they should have said procession it, uh well yeah, we're procession they were the i'm trying and to resume think of, the process it was procession resume the per elimination the resume the procession of the parade there you go yeah. there you go uh okay so we have to make a choice um you didn't really miss much aside from I don't know everyone's getting mad uh, and I believe here we can go back uh, no, I was I was actually here for the entire thing with the oh were you really okay yeah. okay <laughs> I did not know okay yeah so uh, we have two choices because we're locked out of follow the demand or follow the order uh, which our diplomacy has to be more than 12 but we don't have more than 12 um, which kind of sucks Damn. but that's okay it just means we can't follow the order uh, we could demand our rights, uh, which, you know, we could do. Um, we can get... That gives us valor. Yeah, but well... we might need the next one down, though. Bide your time. Our power goes we'll... down by one. Oh, never mind. Which is, which we'll is now minus one. <laughs> but our never willpower mind. will go up. Um... But, but it goes up, oh, it goes up ten. Nine. Yeah, it goes up ten and it's at minus five right now. So, honestly, like, that... That is, that is fairly. Tempting. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Like you wait to see how events unfold. Who wants to end up joining the losing side too early? I well, I don't know. It doesn't. Uh, I as I much mean, as I want willpower, I don't think that's what we'd end up doing. You think we would demand what is, our rights? Uh, actually, I I would just be. I think the wording of bide your time wouldn't be what I would be doing. I would be, or this character would just like, I don't want to follow or demand rights. I just want to see what I can do Yeah. with how to work with either. Well, I feel like Not, this, this is closely kind of what that is a little yeah. bit. It, it just says you wait to see how events unfold. So it's kind of like, it's vague in the sense that you could spin it really any way you want. But I mean, the game will tell us which way th the game wants it to spin. So yeah, uh, that's the other, yeah. Um, demanding your rights is good. The only thing that 
worries me is the willpower is yeah the no. thing. because <laughs> well well just because we're at minus five which means we can't do any like other interact like we might be locked out of certain interactions because it's so bad yeah, yeah. oh the cat's back cat's here Nice, dude. Classic Rockward Gamers. Get your butt out of my face. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't want to put their butt in your face, Brent? That's right. Everyone listening to this is like, man, <laughs> that's what I want to do today. <laughs> 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 All right, Brent, which one are you feeling you want to do more? Demand your rights or bide your time? The bar. Wait, what's that? It's like code of codified nobility co codified oh yeah yeah you you join the call to have your right to nobility codified oh it means uh i think that might not it might not I don't let's know. follow the order you follow the orders from above and direct your column to withdraw from the square yeah so it sounds like the nobility is kind of like upset a little bit Mm -hmm. so demanding our rights would kind of be good for us probably because it's like no we're people we deserve to have rights whereas biding your time is like eh, let's just stay and do nothing but at the same time our willpower goes up but our our power overall power goes down is the thing so i don't know what that exactly refers to power um if i remember correctly uh, that has to do with uh your stance in I can't explain it. I can't think of a way to explain it, but it's something to do with uh, your stance in nobility or something like that. Oh, okay. Well, it does say uh, the province and then power wait, minus down so, or like, minus one. I remember, I don't remember exactly, but I remember seeing it before. Yeah. And saying, uh, it's saying what minus two is and minus or, or zero is and stuff like that. Like, yeah. Yeah. No... Uh, there is, hold on, that we could technically just check. Uh, do, 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 actually, Willpower. is this? Power. Yeah, dude, we're exhausted, man. We can't do anything. Um, yeah, I, mm, I don't know. I'm not sure where it is, but. There's not another pay? Oh, that's weird. Uh, no, it's, it's weird. I guess, because this is stats about us, is the thing. It's not stats about the world. Uh, guess, oh, oh, wait, the province. There we go. Haha. -ha. Okay, struggle so, for power. Oh, okay, so it tells you here, actually. Current balance in power in of, uh, of power in Megra and who rules the province. So the more negative we go, the more the old nobility is in power. And if we go to five, it is a reign of terror. <laughs> oh, boy. So basically, uh, commoners are... Having zero is ideal. Yeah. But what like I'm staying saying, in yeah. the middle section well the middle section is struggle for power though so that's gonna keep continuing the way we're going yeah. right now is overseer in power which is like hey the government wins and stuff but then if we do try and go the other way the commoners in power that's like ha communism and stuff right so i mean it's it, Communism. Yeah. commonerism yeah exactly those darn commoners <laughs> uh, or commies i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah um okay that's that's actually really helpful so in that case if we go with this the power goes down by one again and we're right on the verge of being like going to the old power which is basically the, you know being more for the government i guess i uh, yeah i don't know i, I bide your time and be what is what i feel like he would do yeah I, I, don't, I, I don't know exactly i feel like for role playing purposes i think that you bide your time is probably what he did would do because he's yeah. smart i feel like our character is kind of smart about things you know also i just really want the willpower <laughs> yeah i want the will okay are we gonna go bide your time yeah okay we're doing it we're biding our time and everyone's gonna be like, no, true they death. screwed. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> <laughs> they screwed up. <laughs> uh, you decide to wait while the others demand a new law, and still others try to restore order. Uh, okay. You decide to wait while others demand a new law, and still others try to restore. They're missing like a comma of some sort. 
Okay. It just, I, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Nobody knows how this will end. In the meantime, you conserve your energy and watch the events if fold, unfold. If fold. Uh, the chant grows louder with every second. The law, the law. I was just can just keep thinking of Judas Priest now. <laughs> breaking the law, breaking <laughs> the law. It's like <laughs> the the crowd is um, finishing the line while the while uh, uh, Rob Halford, I think his name is, is <laughs> saying breaking. And then everyone's like, the law. The law. <laughs> uh, Academy officers are trying to shout the vocal or shout the vocal cadets and students into submission. And now I'm just thinking of Judas Priest again. <laughs> <laughs> and order you back into the procession. But they are barely heard above your chant. Too much breaking the law. Too much, too much law breaking, dude. <laughs> Still, some submit and form back into columns, but the impassioned chant continues, and you find yourself at the very heart of the chanting crowd. Tomas rock, wa rockwards right past you. Nice. Uh, waving his arms wildly, calling you, calling for you to join the chant. The law, the law. But you do not respond, and Tomas <laughs> gives up on you. Uh, he moves to the center of the square where the vocal futures, no, vocal future nobles are gathering. An Imperial Guard Cavalry Regiment emerges from the palace. They start slowly advancing on the crowd, hands their, hands on their swords, hands on their pistols, pushing people out of the way. <laughs> hands on their pistols. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez Louise! But I like to imagine that they've got like sword hilts but then they pull guns out of them <laughs> like pistols it's a gun like, blade well, it's, squall. right but it's not Real even long. that it's just I'm like these I'm these, these really long like uh, sheaths and stuff but then they're pulling like the tiniest little gun out of them <laughs> <laughs> oh man the end of this conflict is clear another moment the cavalry will crush the disobedient youths you swiftly maneuver your way from danger and rejoin the semblance of a column in procession. The orders of academy officers and cadets finally have some effect. Most students submit and return to their columns. The commotion in the square is quelled and the cavalry withdraws. Uh, Emperor Uther II appears on the balcony again just like teleports in like fire emblem character yeah uh, right archduke monrog and the emperor's great chancellor stand by his side the square falls silent at the sight of the sovereign he's gonna turn into a dragon <laughs> right dude plot <laughs> <My>, twist <laughs> my subjects i can see how overjoyed you are for the prince jarian but your show of reverence and gratitude is clear enough. Now follow the great chancellor's order and obey my will. Continue the parade and sing the praises of the Tempest dynasty that has given you so much. Dude, I'm getting like mad, like Emperor Palpatine vibes from this guy. <laughs> like, do it. The square obediently lines up into columns once again. The bout of defiance in this, is in the is in the past now and they resume hey they use the right kind of past uh, and they resume for the festive parade throughout the cities through the city streets you march along with your column you steer clear of the commotion and all of the useless rebellion and now everything is back as it should be glory to emperor uther glory to prince jerian oh uh, yeah so there's our power it went down by one, so we're like on the verge of being overseer in power. Okay, all right, not all bad. Right. I, I mean, I don't. That's a thing. I haven't even started thinking about the overall, you know, conflict in Magra. I've really just been thinking about our character. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. I, I don't really care about the politics side of things, which I feel like is what the game is, you know, <laughs> leaning towards, right? I, I am interested in maxing out either one of them. <laughs> either, like, a, <laughs> yeah. a five, the old nobility is in power, or getting, a pro like, a positive five and getting a reign of terror. 
<laughs> like, I, I don't know, man. But our willpower went up, so we're ready for auction. That's good. Yep. So that means if, uh, you know, another witch needs burning, we can, uh, we, we can do it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the way of the sword. Your studies at the college come easily to you. Now, only now do you realize the importance of all the lessons you had to endure as a child at father's expense. Month after month, you study the judge's trade down to the smallest details. But there is more to your education. God damn it. But there is more to your education than the judge's tra trade and imperial law. You also learn manners and courtly etiquette. Courtly etiquette? Courtly etiquette. Courtly would be no O. So. Oh. Oh. Uh, that's Pokemon. Um, the cur courtly etiquette, the poetry and composition, and even fencing. I guess. Wow. <laughs> the way you said it was just like, and even fencing. Yeah. Because <laughs> as soon as I said, like a composition, etiquette, poetry, it just sounded like all about music and stuff like that. And then yeah. fencing is in there. And then, then all I could think of is like sheet music. Because, <laughs> you know, putting out fence posts. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, <laughs> I could see that. I could see that. Or, uh, you know, Battle of the Bands. You know, they just have swords on the end of, <laughs> ends of their guitars and stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's it's going to be Guar then with yeah. they had chainsaws on one of them. I can't remember. Oh, my God. That would be amazing. <laughs> A chainsaw guitar. I, that sounds like it's out of, like, what was that Jack Black game that... Oh, um... The Warriors of Rock or something? Or, no, that's Guitar Hero uh, 5. Um... You know which one I'm know, talking about, I know right? which was like uh, it's something Brutal a Legends? rock. Brutal Legend, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. It was yeah. everywhere. I could yeah. find that game any any EB store. Oh, dude, there were so GameStop. many. There's so many of them. <laughs> On some days, you go with Tomas to a deserted patch of land to practice with the sword. Then finally, the day of your judge's exam comes. You send your test results to father. And he replies with an appointment to a judge's office at the prefecture of Megra. Now you have a new life and a new profession back home. You will return to your hometown as a judge. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, all I can think of is like, um, have you played Final Fantasy Tactics Advance? No. Uh, or A2? I guess not. Because no. the uh, Advance was like from Game Boy Advance era. And then A2 was on early 3DS, or DS event, or maybe it was on, I can't remember. But anyways, there's uh, judges in it where they literally give you yellow cards and red, green cards, yellow, red cards event. Jeez. Green cards. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's um, immigration. In... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I, see, I Anyways. thought you were gonna say yellow cards and red cards, like yeah, soccer. Yeah, it is. It is just like soccer, and with the type of judges, they're called judges, and they're dressed up in armor. Oh, okay. They're they're black armor, black, uh, and it's also a big plot point in Final Fantasy XII. Yeah, because you know there's judges in that, but they're not used for the same thing. Anyways, all I could think of was uh, him becoming a judge to to dictate whether or not. Hey, that's a not a legal attack you just did. <laughs> Throwing a rock at this guy? You're you're supposed to actually hit him with a sword, not throw with a rock. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're getting a red card. You're thrown out of the I don't know battle. <laughs> yeah, you get a uh, you get uh you're not allowed to fight in the next battle if as a penalty if you get a red card oh. or if enough red cards and stuff like that. Oh jeez. It's it's fairly interesting. Uh tangent aside um your heart skips a beat as you step inside the temple wait is that where i was oh yeah no no it is it is it it is early boarding at the great temple of the twins your heart skips a beat as you step inside the temple it feels like the day from your childhood again the priest is standing at the altar and the temple is divided into two halves pepperoni hawaiian Ooh. But you are no longer a frightened little child anymore. You have now grown man who is about to become a noble and who likes mushrooms on theirs. 
pizzas. Oh, oh no, dude. I, <laughs> man, <laughs> I I don't like mushrooms in general. I am not a mushroom I was going to say, mar I was going to say marshmallows first. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? I gotta say, I'm also not a huge fan of marshmallows. <laughs> I like marshmallows, but I, if I like, if I'm gonna have marshmallows, it's gotta be the small ones, like the ones you put in your hot oh, chocolate. Oh, yeah. I, I roasted marshmallows are fine, but I can have like two or three of them before I'm like, oh, I can't have any more marshmallows. I, I, I can have they one. Hit, <laughs> they hit my system weird. I don't, I don't know. I just like cooking them and then peeling off the outer layer and then doing it another time and peeling off that layer. It just that's... no other purpose to do that. I hate being sticky, so that's my worst thing to eat. Are you like <laughs> so I, don't a... eat I was gonna say, are you like a serial killer or something? That's what you do instead of peeling off people's skin. <laughs> 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 Is there some serial killer tendencies in you, Brent, that I need to uh, be aware of? <laughs> I think the only reason why I like what or like eating marshmallows in any reason, uh, because there's a Dennis the Menace movie. A live action first one, uh, if you ever heard of it or seen it. Uh, uh, you know what? I think I have, but I can't recall well, it. Dennis is uh, cooking the marshmallow and then uh, he burns it, so he tries to put it out by swinging his stick back and forth. Oh like my a fly, god. Like a fishing rod. What? And it goes flying and hits Mr. Wilson in the forehead. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I, I like marshmallows <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh the floor is on the common side and there is to cause pain i what the floor is on the common <laughs> side is there to cause pain the floor on the common side is there to cause pain oh right because you had to kneel oh they, they forgot to you feel the jagged edge okay i had to read the rest you feel the jagged edge Man, that had no context. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as you remember, it could have just says, as you remember, the first time being here, kneeling on these jagged edges, it was there to cause you pain. I guess you could have said that oh, my to God. have more descriptor, but you know. It, uh, it's, I, I find that I, it's funny when you like comment on this kind of stuff, because it's like, man, this is two sentences. But it should be one. <laughs> uh, <coughs> this pain marks your final few seconds as a commoner. He's gonna go kiss the blade again. Oh, no, uh, stick it in his mouth. <laughs> That's what you do with it. <laughs> the priest stands before you. You kneel again, but now there is a warm, smooth marble underneath your knees. You hear the words spoken above your head. It's a text bubble. From this day forth, <laughs> your lot is strength and will. From this day forth, you will rule and fight and pursue the arts. Ooh, we As can take judge? theater. <laughs> yeah, can we're going to be a very theatrical Are you going to be judge? a judgy Jason in a art show thing? What? I... Now rise, noble. So, judgy Jason is from uh, an NSP song. <laughs> oh, Brent! <laughs> Brent, we're doing it! Place your lips on the smooth steel of the sword. <laughs> yeah, he is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and when you rise again, you realize that the trembling you felt ever since the first sacrament is now completely gone. I got a Windows uh, virus and threat protection. Oh, I thought that was part of the game. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the Windows threat protection sh uh, shutters come down. <laughs> right. <laughs> Enough holes for bows and arrows. <laughs> Uh, you rise a new man, and every motion now uncannily accurate, your thoughts surprisingly fresh, your muscles ready to face the fight. That's weird. Uh, uh, nothing, not, not the wording or any of that, it just, it's like, you kiss a blade, now you're super accurate. I guess you got promoted. You, you, in, didn't, in you, didn't kiss, you didn't kiss the blade. You deep-throated the blade. It's a, <laughs> it's a different thing. <laughs> Sword swallowing. So, ah. <laughs> this day feels worthy of a poem. And now you can compose one if you wish. So he, like, got promoted and now he can do bard. So, yes, yes. He got promoted <laughs> and now he can do bard. <laughs> it's exactly you cut your it. back. The mark of the lash from your previous segment is gone. Completely erased. Oh, 
he literally did get promoted. He did, <laughs> and yeah. He became a bard. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So subclassed his bard class. Uh, subclassed his judge as a bard, I guess. Yeah. You hurry from the sacrament back to your room at the college. Your father's gift awaits you there. A sword. Your very own sword. The deep throat. Now to celebrate. Alone in your room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, deep throating your own sword. <laughs> All college students are invited to the college tournament. Yes, they, why wouldn't they be? The college deep throating <laughs> sword college. tournament? <laughs> <laughs> and then a party. Uh, okay, uh, the sword feels wonderful in your hand. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Of future victories. Oh, definitely. That's gonna be like instead of a battle cry, he's just gonna like he's just gonna deep throat a sword. That's it. <laughs> oh god. The tournament begins. The stands are loud with an anticipation. Never in your entire life have you seen so many beautiful noble ladies in one place. But there is only one who attracts everybody's attention: the raven-haired, black-eyed Octavia Milicunis. The daughter of the Archduke of Megra has a grace this tournament with a visit. She's wearing a dress of emerald green and austere. I uh, could not read hairdo for some reason. Uh, <laughs> hairdo. <laughs> uh, immaculate. Hairdo immaculate. Austere ha hairdo immaculate. Her austere hairdo immaculate. I'm. There's something missing in that part. Don't, don't even think it about feels it. Like I just, it. It's weird. It's a weird... It feels like it. I don't know. She's wearing Anyways. a dress of emerald green, her austere hairdo immaculate. It, it's like her austere hairdo immaculate. It, it's it's still, literally just... I don't know who It feels like they're this, just trying to... It's weird. feels like they're putting in slang, but a new slang. I don't know. She is surrounded by her ladies in waiting. I guess. What is it, a lady in waiting? You never heard that before. Uh, is that like just somebody? It's like a, a maid or somebody just the servant that just gets you stuff. I'm pretty sure it's something along the lines of that. Ladies in waiting. That's a try. Try to class up uh, a, a slave. I guess. Yeah, um, pretty much. All beauties in their own right. When a noble enters the tournament, he must announce the name of the lady whose honor he is fighting for. Many shout the names of their loved ones in their stalls. You know that many would fight for Octavia Minakunis. But the onus of responsibility is too great. You take a few jabs with the sword, warming up for the fight. That's just... That... The, the, the visual that goes with that now. <laughs> well, with, with warming Soon up... Soon it is your turn. <laughs> With warming up your sword, it's fine. Yeah. You know, you just uh, really got to grip it well. You just got to take a few jabs at it with your sword. Uh, yeah. All eyes are on you now. The young lady, Octavia, hides her face behind the hand fan. Yeet her eyes. Watch you with curiosity. Yeet her eyes? <laughs> I saw I saw yet, and I thought yeet, and I'm like, it's yet, but I'm going to oh say yeet. Oh my god. Brad, <laughs> I think I finally corrupted you into becoming a Gen Z. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! All right, it looks like we've got a couple choices, but how about we have a discussion about this next time on yeah. the next episode? How does that sound? Sounds good to me. Dope. All right, guys. Well, uh, you know, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, do the things you do for everybody else, but do it for us. Hit that subscribe button down there. Do it. Come on. You know you wanna. Just, just, just. I don't know. Do it. Please? Use your sword. Use your sword. Deep throat your sword and hit that fucking subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs>